Bow! What is rolling everybody? You are watching a new video here on the Car Boot Collectors YouTube channel and today it's just going to be a quick one. I'm just going to quickly show you uh, a load of stuff which I've just, you know, just unpacked from my car and um, I'm planning to do some individual what's in the box videos with this stuff so if you know you want to see it in a in, in more in-depth look have no bloody fear because they'll be coming soon. I just thought I wanted to show up before I pack it away and to be completely honest I've been on the road for a good hour and a half and I'm dying for a urination and there's no, there's no facilities for that here at my, my storage facility. So I want to unpack this stuff quite quickly and get home. But I thought while we've got it all not packed away, we'll show it to you in one go. So uh, yeah, this is all stuff which I bought from a, an online auction last week. And as I said, I just gone and picked it up today. So we'll do a quick, we'll do a quick overview and then, you know, you can wait for sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'll be doing more in-depth videos of each box. So as you can see, there's about, there's about 10, I won 10 lots in total. Some of them, you know, what you see like the bags, this, this was all one lot, this was all one lot. And then there's a couple of sort of like individual items as well. Uh, but yeah, most of what I went for was sort of like box lots. So uh, yeah, here we go. Let's really show you just quickly, quick little overview. So. We've got a load here of wrestling figures. Now, I was a little skeptical to be honest. I had, I had jotted this down in my in my notes of ones that I was, lots that I was interested in, and I was interested in the, in this lot for about you know 50, 60 quid to be completely honest. And it came up, and I I got auction fever. I got a bit carried away, and I won this lot for 170 quid. So with commission. You know, you're well over 200 quid at that point. And after I won it, I was like, why, why have I bid this much on this lot? And afterwards, I had a bit of a look through the pictures again. And um, it became apparent that I've probably overspent on this lot, to be completely honest. Now, nah, it, it's fine, it's fine. There's some good stuff here. There's a lot of WWE Elite figures in this lot. You know, we've got Umaga here. He's about a £20 figure. We've got the big red machine, Kane. Again, you know, sort of £20, £25 figure. I haven't looked any of these up specifically you know we've got the man goldberg right there boring uh, we've got hurricane helms there's a few nice figures in here this is like a sort of titan tron era one uh, a lot of stuff in here is mattel elite some of it's jacks some of it's mattel basic there's a mattel basic kevin owens but there's a good mix of stuff in there there's a good amount of elite figures there's got to be 15 20 elite figures in here so if you break that down as paying 10 pound each for them that's not too bad. There's some good stuff here, and uh, I'd say there's you know the rock. There is a really cool one in here as well. Actually, is it too? We've got Kelly Kelly there, absolute classic. Back in the day when I was really into wrestling figures, Kelly Kelly, one of my absolute favourites. And the figure of Kelly Kelly used to used to be insane money. Now now you know the fans is, are spoiled with the, these these great quality figures. So anyway, there you go. There's a couple of carded rock figures. Everything's sort of loose played with. Apart from these two rock figures, I don't know why. I don't know if there's some kind of significance to them. I would assume not. We've got a ring. Um, it looks like it's got some kind of action feature. I don't know what specifically. And then there's a few other little bits in here. Now these actually, um, I did look up individually after I bought it, trying to sort of justify to myself why I paid so much. Um, and this one right here, this Retro Series 1 Undertaker, this for some reason is going for about 40, 50 pound loose. So, you know, that's a good amount of the money back right there. Um, that's fair enough. It's a good lot, in my opinion. We'll, we'll go for it. You never know. There's probably going to be some some one or two figures in there that are quite good. But at the very least, I don't have many wrestling figures in stock at the moment. Uh, there's, I guess, an elite Nia Jax. I've never seen that one before. Um, yeah, there, and there's a there's a bloody dusty road Jax Pacific. You know, there's some good stuff though. I don't have any wrestling figures really in stock at the moment, so it's good to get like a big load of sort of decent-ish elite ones. Uh, this lot right here. Now I'm, I'm really excited about this lot. This completely opposite of this one. I, I didn't have a price jotted down for this lot. I was just going to be winning this regardless, because this lot has my name written all over it. And you know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, I'm going to be winning it. You know, it's just you now that might sound sound a bit cocky, but it's just the way it is. I was going to be winning this lot no matter what, and it didn't actually end up costing that much to be honest. So it's a whole load of just stuff. I really don't know how to describe it. Apologies for the background noise helicopters but it's just tons and tons of stuff you know a little bag of incredible stuff bag of mini boglins bag of simpson stuff and you couldn't really see what was here in the picture um and i, and I couldn't really work out sort of making a, an assumption i could not work out 
if this was like a dealer unloading a load of stuff or if this, this was someone who'd like collected stuff and just sort of meticulously kept it with the wrappers. And the more I'm having a quick flick through it now, it looks more like the latter. It looks like someone who collected random stuff, bought one or two packets and just sort of wrapped it up. I really don't understand it, but um, I've just seen this one. This is pretty good. Sonic and Knuckles, uh, Eggman, blind bag figure from the 90s. That's probably, it's probably a good 20 pound piece. Hopefully we've got some of the other ones in there from this range because there's a couple of the Botnicks. And I'm oh, sorry, I'm shouting over rotor blades here right to my ear they're not they're not really in my ear probably wouldn't be too safe but uh, the botnicks from this range are really sought after so hopefully we'll have a few more of them in 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 there we'll, i will do a what's in the box with that stuff because that looks like a cool up some mini boglins it's nice to have all the packets it looks like a good range of stuff here as well some stuff sort of late 80s through to early 2000s bubble bubble heads by matchbox and then there's a whole load of um, pin badges and what is this a uh, pirates of the caribbean coins um we've got some gladiator pogs if we're lucky we might have a jet one in there and this will probably sell quite quickly i'm gonna guess it's around about 15 quid a blockbuster clip there's so much demand for vintage blockbuster memorabilia there's a real um nostalgia sort of hype for blockbuster stuff so anything to do with it generally does sell pretty pretty well and for more money than you'd assume it probably would so that's that lot i'm really really pretty excited to go through that stuff um next lot this right here this was a bit of an impulse purchase um i didn't really read the description generally you find at auctions they'll sell stuff like as unchecked and this was just because you know when they've got hundreds and hundreds of items coming through they're not going to check it um everything sort of individually because uh, it's been it's been opened it's a model kit from Smokey and a bandit to a trailer so it's sold as unchecked it does appear to be complete I, I will double check obviously before i move it on um but that cost on its own something like 40 quid plus commission so about 50 all in thereabouts and i couldn't find too many that have been up for sale but it seems generally people ask you know like 150 200 pound for this set it's quite a rare piece so a good uh, a good find at that you know i don't generally go for model kits sort of auctions really unless it's a bulk lot but that was quite a nice one it was nice you know you don't see a lot of smoky in the bandit stuff about i'll be honest i have no idea what smoky in the bandit is i think it's a film don't know there's a mustache man in it though all right so this lot here yet another lot that i the doctor called you've come down with a case of auction fever you know this was a lot which uh, I got a bit carried away with bidding on. Um, I had jotted down that I wanted to bid about 20 quid on this lot, and it came up. The, I mean, the estimate was like 10 to 20 quid. Uh, it came up, and there was a lot of interest instantly. It was in like 30, 40, 50 quid. And I was like, why is it going for so much? Now, what I was interested in was this. Um, I assumed it was like a modern piece. I didn't really have any time to do any research on it. It's, I believe it's called Giant Robo. He's like an anime Japanese robot shogun -y type character. Um, I didn't have any time to do any research on them. Some of these figures are insane money. You get some, you know, like the earlier vinyl ones. They can be really expensive. And I just didn't have any research to find out specifically what it... Didn't have any time to do any research, sorry, what it specifically was. So I just got a bit carried away. And this ended up costing 100 quid. And when you look at what's here, when you take out this, it's a load of, you know, it's not a great lot. It's some Mackie Lads Bill and Ben toys, which are destined for the charity shop. A bendy sooty it looks incredibly sad there destined for the charity shop no, that's that's probably a good item that will sell on etsy for a few quid on ebay probably would never ever sell same with this this vintage 1970s mickey mouse lamp and this mickey mouse a broke back mountain edition sort of vinyl squeaky toy and then this i'm not too sure what it is it's some monkeys rowing a boat I, it looks like a specific character i don't know what it is but that's now it's got some age to it wouldn't it's probably 1960s and then this right here this is pretty cool i do quite like this this is mr turnip a die cast puppet i don't know who made these and um, they're not that sought after they're quite common actually they look pretty cool i've never seen one in person before but there always seems to be plenty of them up for sale at auctions and on ebay he's worth about 40 pound probably take a while to go i mean i don't know who this mr turnip character is i know who's a bbc character back in the early days uh, but that's the extent of my knowledge no idea really who he is but i quite like it it's quite a nice you know 
it's a puppet obviously missing the strings but mr turnip head uh, but anyway as i say I, I when i paid the hammer goes down you've won it 100 quid i was thinking that could be an absolute dud because there's not much value in that stuff so it was riding on this and when i, I came to pick it up and i saw it was this big sort of blow molded plastic figure i'm thinking you know what that's probably that's probably a pretty good um good buy. Need to do more research on this one. MRR, more research required. But that's quite a nice figure. Um, value wise, I have absolutely no idea. But that was a gamble lot. I'm quite quite happy with it now. That I've got it in hand. Uh, okay, so we've got this lot here now. This is another lot which was a bit of a gamble. Don't know much about Warhammer. My good friend Alex. Alex OD. Um, is a big fan of Warhammer. Not only a big fan of Warhammer, a stockist of Warhammer. And I shot him over a couple pictures after I had won this lot. And, and I said, like, can you see any good stuff in here? And he was his reply was like, most of it looks like rubbish or stuff that isn't Warhammer. And um, I think he's probably right. A lot of this stuff isn't Warhammer. A lot of it is what in the Warhammer, Warhammer community you would dub as bits stylized with a z because this is just stuff which is like bits and pieces of models there's not a lot here that's from one of the old fantasy uh mad fantasy sets um some stuff here just isn't warhammer i don't really know what a lot of it is there's bits and pieces this is probably one of the weaker lots i bought in in this sort of haul here um but we'll see we'll see i'll go for it properly um this will come in handy this is actually the bell from the mcfarland toys acdc hell's bells Angus Young action figure. So I'll put that to a side. That'll come in handy at some point. Don't have one of those in at the moment that's missing it. But you know, it's quite a bit of stuff here. It's just not very good. That's a Britain's a Britain siege machine catapult. Pretty battered though. You know, there's a lot of stuff here. There's just nothing that's really that good. So what can you do? It was a gamble. You couldn't see much. The picture is pretty much just that. Um, this drop pod is in here though. I think this is a third party one. It's made of resin. So that could be that could be a little bit of money. I don't know though, we'll see. Um, so we've got this lot right here. This lot, um, as far as what it costs, is probably one of the best lots of the day because there's so much stuff here. And again, you couldn't really see in the picture what was here because there was a couple pictures, you know, like that kind of thing. You couldn't see all of what was here, but there's some good stuff in here. You know, the, it's, it's all Power Rangers circa 1990s. Oh, I remember back then. Uh, there's some good stuff in here, you know, the Morphers, that's a Power Rangers Zeo Morpher. That comes in a set with another one, I don't know if the other one is in here. In fact, there you go, there it is. They are missing the straps, but that as a set should probably be about what I paid for the lot. And there's a lot of other good stuff in there's a lot of bits and pieces. That is a uh, Morpher from something else, I don't know what. We've got the Movie Megazord bits and pieces. There's, oh, there you go, there's one of the straps for the Morpher. There's a lot of little bits and pieces here and when it comes to Power Rangers stuff a lot of the value does does reside in, in these little bits and pieces which are often missing so we'll have to go through those and put them together. I don't know a lot about Power Rangers. My sort of knowledge on this stuff is limited to what I had back in the day. My, bro my brother does, um, does know a fair amount about this stuff though so I have to get him to have a little gander there you go there's a space megazord so hopefully there's some some uh, some stuff in there that's sort of relatively complete if not i'll just break it up for spares but yeah we'll have to do we'll, we'll go through that in a bit more detail on another video uh okay plastic tub right here now this this is what i was really excited about oh, i say i was i'm still very excited about I'm, I'm pretty pretty hyped to go through this one this is a lot of stuff which is like mine and my brother's era of stuff now a lot of it is pretty battered it was sold as that the listing said like you know pretty well played with toys and you know you can see a knuckles is not faring too well his head is broken off as another knuckles um, but this is all stuff from like you know like sonic Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, there's like pokemon stuff and i mean he's not in very good condition at all or she i, I don't know but there's a lot of stuff in here, you know, you can see all these little tiny Yu-Gi-Oh figures. You know, some of these little tiny Yu-Gi-Oh figures and Mattel ones are pretty hard to find. Some of them command pretty pretty high high dollar. So yeah, there's quite a bit of stuff in there. We'll go through that and um, see what there is. There is, where are they two? Um, 
This is one of the Jazzwares Sonic figures. The Jazzwares superposable Sonic figures were always quite sought after. This is a Sonic and the Black Knight. Unfortunately, he's missing an arm. With any luck, that might be in there though, but even so, uh, with an arm missing, someone will still buy that for a few quid for a, for a custom base. There's all sorts of stuff. There's a little Amy Rose driving a car. It's like a Citroen. Showing off my car knowledge there. Uh, yeah, there's lots of stuff in there. I have to go for it. See, that's Sonic's leg. Looks like it's been chewed up, and I'm, well, my hand feels sticky. So, uh, oh, bloody hell, look at that. That's, um, Ultimate Muscle. Looks like a little uh, Gashapon toy, which is missing some bits. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we'll go through that and some of it will be complete and some of it will be in okay condition. Um, that wasn't too, too expensive of a lot, so I'm quite happy with that one. Uh, now this sort right here was, I think, the most expensive lot I bought at this sale. Um, and again, it was a bit of a gamble because you can't, could not really see what was present in, in the listing. So this is, this is all Smurfs memorabilia. And the pictures, you could all you could really see was sort of like bags of stuff. You couldn't see specifically what was present. Um, so there's three boxes in this in this stack. I don't know what this is. Erotic edition? What these boxes are in? What is this? I, I have absolutely no idea what these boxes are for, but they've got Smurfs in them now. So. It's a lot of stuff. Obviously, someone was collecting Smurfs at some point. You can see these guides here. But there's a whole load of figures. They look like the McDonald's ones, which are worth pretty much nothing. Um, dropping books in the, on the ground. Yeah, I'm going to try and get a table set up inside the old storage sometime soon. These videos will be a little bit easier to film. Uh, yeah, so I can't see any of the ones that are ringing any alarm bells as expensive ones but there's certainly a lot of stuff here you know, generally with the smurfs you know there's sort of variations that are pretty sought after um the ones that generally people go for are the or some of the more well-known desirable ones are the sports smurfs so ones like you know rugby smurf football smurf you can get like different color variations of those that are pretty sought after this one space smurf unfortunately missing his half of his helmet uh, this is this is is this quite a sort after one i don't know there's a variation of this policeman smurf that's quite rare i can't remember which one it is i can't remember if it's white or black uh, but one of them the different color uniforms is pretty sort of stuff so so yeah i don't know smurf dropped under here in the muddy ground that one looks unusual sort of black and white get up Angel Smurf, Cupid Smurf, I don't know, there's loads of it there. Um, I think the listing said there was about 200, 250 pieces. There's a lot of Smurf, a lot of Smurf action there if you're, if you're into Smurfs. So yeah, I'll do a video on those um, at some point soon. Smurfs. Uh, let's go with this stuff first, um, and then we'll end, we'll end on this stuff here, because this is quite an exciting lot in my opinion. Um, so this stuff here again, this was a real impulse purchase. So when I was having a little flick through the catalogue, I spied this lot and I thought it's a bloody good lot for somebody, not really for me. And then it came up and no one really bid on it. And I was like, yeah, go on then, I'll go for that stuff. It's a lot of work involved with this, but um, there should be a pretty decent return when, it's, when it sells through. So we got a whole suitcase here filled with built model kit planes. Now, this is basically the pitch, you know, there's one case there, and then this one which looks like someone has sat on it, uh, filled with planes as well. A lot of stuff here, you know, it doesn't look like it's in the best condition. I don't want to touch it without gloves on, it's manky as anything, but look at that dust, and they look like they've been in a barn for, for decades. Um, but yeah, this lot did not cost very much at all. This lot was something like £25 plus commission. Fucking hell, look at that spider. Oh, bloody hell, I'm gonna have to get, I, I can't put that in the storage, that's disgusting. I'm, I'm scared of that, hang on. I can't even zoom in, but there is a massive spider there, I, I can't put that, put that away. Oh, bloody hell, I hope there's not more in here. Maybe that's why it was so cheap. Um, 
I don't want to get too... Oh, fuck, it's moving. Oh, shite. Look how big that is. That looks, that looks dangerous. Um, I don't really know how I can get rid of that, but look at it. It's disgusting and big. And it's moving. Um, I don't know. And I have to work out a way of getting rid of that, but not... Not now, that's gonna be a task for off camera. I have to find something to slide it out with. Don't really wanna kill it. But in a combat situation. Okay, I'm gonna move this over here because it might bloody web at me or something, I don't know. Uh, so this lot right here, this was a really good lot. Again, a lot I sort of glossed over when I was going through the catalog. Um, but then I had a better look at it and there was some really nice stuff in it. And again, it didn't cost very much. So this was sort of what I was bidding for. Uh, this is the SPI Lord of the Rings War of the Ring board game. Um, if this is complete, it runs about 125 quid, which is about double what I paid for this lot. Um, and it looks like it's in pretty nice nick. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm petrified of that spider. I'm not, not normally too scared of spiders, but that one, he's... He's, he's got a a big he's got some he's got some junk in the trunk. He's a big spider. That does make me worried. Um so yeah, War of the Ring. That's quite quite and you know, from the condition of the box it looks like it's been well looked after. Again it it said unchecked. Um so it could be complete, maybe maybe it isn't, I don't know. And we've got a, a sort of off-brand action man scout car. I haven't got uh, too much more in the lot. That was basically just a little box of bits and pieces. Um, which I've had a quick little flick through and I have found some cool stuff in there. So there's basically this old shoe box with some battery operated clown toys. There's an Action Man Atomic Man, minus his hands and head. But he does have his outfit. So that's okay, that's very saleable. Someone will want that. It's prob probably worth 20 quid in that condition. Maybe a little more. The outfit's pretty good. And that's the back door for the, I don't know if it's the Action Man trailer or the Action Man, um, like lorry. I don't know which one, but there it is. And then there's actually quite a few Star Wars bits in here. So, so there's a bit of the speeder bike, a bit of the land speeder. Endor Han Solo's coat, or a Gamorrean Guard's axe, which is very, you know, it's a very saleable piece. I'm pretty sure that's the seats for the land speeder. That's a bit of a uh, speeder bike. Uh, we've got a Ben Kenobi, Ben Kenobi's cape there. We've got the figure out of the Corgi Aston Martin, uh, James Bond. That's the one which ejector seats out. Not a particularly rare piece. They're often missing, but there's plenty of them about. But they're always a quick sale at, you know, 10 quid. There's lots of, you know, little bits and pieces. That's a roof for a Corgi car, probably. That's a $6 million man's arm. Uh, a Tuscan Raider cape. A bit of damage to it, but still someone will want that. Oh, there you go, there's Lando's skiff axe. So yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff in it, really. That's um, Prune Face's gun. So yeah, this was actually not too expensive of a lot, and there's a lot of good stuff in here. An arm now, I don't know who that belongs to. Um, looks like these are little corgi figures or something. There's a low grey's hat or hood. So yeah, a lot of good stuff in there. I'm still, um, I'm a bit shocked that spider. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. It does scare me to be completely honest. Um, so, so apologies for the last couple of minutes. I've been a bit, a bit uh, distraught. It's probably been quite audibly visible because I am scared of it. Um, oh. Anyway, so that's the haul. Now that, I'm, now that I remember it, some of this stuff when I went to pick up, they had in a massive box which was not gonna fit in my car. And I took it all out, and in the bottom of the box there was a massive dead beetle. Now I left the box there, and um, maybe they, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going on. There. There's a lot of scary insects, or at least two, anyway. So anyway, a lot of good stuff. Um, 
I mean, I guess this spider is now my legal property because I've accidentally purchased it. Uh, but yeah, I've got to somehow find a way to get rid of that. You can even see it from here, look. I know, I know if Alex is still watching, I know he's not a big fan of his spiders. So turn it off now, I'm not going to get too close. Oh, but look, it's, it's a massive, like, ass on. I don't know what you'd call that. But I've got to find a way of getting rid of it. So hopefully this video has been somewhat entertaining. It has actually gone on a lot longer than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be a good, like, five, ten minute video. But there you go. It, it's been a bit of a natter. Some cool stuff. Some pretty cool stuff here. So yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm put. I'm getting farther away from a scary, scary thing. Um, so good, goodbye. We'll see you soon.